Hi, I'm John Manley, Chief of Police at Elizabeth City State University. Thank you for watching our active shooter video. While active shooter situations rarely occur on college campuses and our workplaces, should an active shooter situation occur, our goal is that through this video, it will enhance our ability in keeping the campus safe. Additionally, we have a strong relationship and partnership with local law enforcement, the City of Elizabeth City Police Department, and the Pasquotank County Sheriff's Office, which enhances our ability to address crime and breaches of peace on the campus. Again, on behalf of the men and women of the Elizabeth City State University Police, I want to thank you for watching our active shooter video. Active shooter situations are unpredictable and develop quickly. The initial response of law enforcement is to stop the shooter and reduce harm to victims. Because active shooter situations usually take place before law enforcement arrives, persons must be mentally and physically prepared to respond and protect themselves from harm. What do you do in an active shooter situation? Run. Take notice of nearest exits in the facility you visit or are located in. And if an escape route exists, evacuate the facility. Be sure to have an escape route planned. Evacuate, even if others refuse to leave. Leave belongings behind. Help others to evacuate, but do not wait on them. Prevent others from entering the area where the active shooter may be. After exiting the building and in a safe location, call 911 or ECSU University Police, 335-3266. When police enter and begin to secure the building, keep hands raised above head and follow all commands. Hide. If you cannot get out, find a safe location where the active shooter cannot see or find you. Your hiding area should be out of the shooter's line of sight and protect you from possible gunfire. Examples include door, closet, or behind a desk but never trap yourself in an area that does not provide an escape route. To help keep an active shooter away from you, take precautions as locking doors if possible. If not, block or secure the door with a device, such as a belt, chairs, desks, or heavy furniture. Close blinds and turn off lights. Turn off all cell phones and noise-making devices. Hide behind objects and remain silent. Fight. If an active shooter is in the area and you cannot run or hide, your last resort is to fight. Once you encounter the shooter, do not stop until the shooter is disarmed or subdued. This will be a fight for your life and should be taken that way. When law enforcement arrives, their first and only priority is to take down the shooter. Rescues and injured person's needs are not addressed at this time. They will conduct search in an attack formation. If it is safe to do so, call 911 and provide any information related to the situation, description, weapons, persons in your area and location. When police arrive, put down any object in hand and raise hands above your head and follow their instructions. Do not make any quick or sudden movements. Avoid pointing or asking officers questions. Thank you for taking the time to view our active shooter training video. This is a simulated training video consisting of participants who are not actors, rather are volunteer, parent and or former students, faculty and staff.
While active shooter situations rarely occur on college campuses, your participation in this training is vitally important. The men and women at Campus Police hope that this video will enhance your safety, as your safety is our number one priority.